Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing details. Today, we are discussing a truly special watch. Now, as you see it, it was launched in 2010, but the original version of the Gerald Genta Octo by Retro came out in a very similar form in 2004. But in the year 2000, Bulgari bought Gerald Genta and Daniel Rott. They were one manufacturer in Le Sentier. And in 2010, Bulgari decided to subsume both brands into the Bulgari portfolio. So for a brief period, you saw Bulgari for Gerald Genta and Bulgari for Daniel Rott on the dials. After about two years, that lapsed and the watches just became Bulgari. And of course, today, the Octo shape is still with us and well known as the Octo Finissimo. But back in 2010, Gerald Genta still paid homage to the origins of this design and this movement. So you had that little Gerald Genta signature on a watch that was already becoming part of the Bulgari fold. Now, in stainless steel with a ceramic bezel, what you see right here is a 43 millimeter case that's 12.7 millimeters thick and 48.5 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip with a broad but conventional 31 millimeter spacing between the lugs. So this doesn't use an integrated bracelet or strap per se. It just has a very, very broad spacing between the lugs. Now on my wrist, it's a large watch. I would say you need a wrist of at least my size to wear this well. I have no problem with it. It fits nicely. The lugs themselves aren't that broad. It's just the strap that adds some stiffness at the edge. So if your wrist is 16 centimeters circumference or larger, you're going to find this is a really good fit. And it's actually a lot thinner than you're going to expect. It will fit underneath a dress sleeve. The strap itself is massive. And I, I keep saying that, but it really is. They're not shorting you the vulcanized rubber here. You can see how thick it is in profile and how broad it is from the top. It's fully integrated into the case, which gives the watch a tidy look. And then we have a little bit of an overlapping series of facets that echo the design of the bezel, the case, and the lugs. On the underside, we still had the original Gerald Genta logo, as this strap had long been made for the watch under the Gerald Genta brand. And then on the underside, you can appreciate that we have Bulgari attempting to rebrand and no sooner did Bulgari move in than they probably realized that they couldn't change the movement. So this watch is an interesting blend of Genta and Bulgari parts and branding. Taking a look internally, you can see that you have a couple of pre-scored sections within the strap if you want to cut this one a little bit more precisely to length. So you have the ability to fine-tune the fit, and we'll make sure that's right for you before you take delivery. We also see that this is a relatively robust clasp, and this is a sports watch. There's a combination of polish and media blasting, and it is a tw twin trigger release system with a double folding, so it is quite secure. The watch is 100 meters water resistant, which means along with the robust clasp, the thick rubber strap, this really is a sports watch. Taking a quick look, you can see the Octo case is by no means a modern product of Fabrizio Buonamassa. As much as we love him, octagonal Genta cases have been around likely for about 40 years. Taking a quick look, you can see there is a little bit of a break between the satin and the polished elements. And you can see the satin here is media blasted satin, not directionally brushed satination. We have the stepped flanks, then we have the bezel, which is a combination of an octagonal base that's actually polished, and then a satin finished circle surrounding a round crystal that gives way to a rounded octagon inboard. The inner bezel is that rounded octagon. We have a little cabochon on the, it looks like an onyx cabochon on a beaded crown. And then we have a dial with several different sectors. The first and most obvious is the retrograde minutes. There's a grill underneath that. The center dial is now Bulgari branded. We have a little polished frame or aperture for the jump hour. You see how it jumps? Now, if you want to just adjust the hour, but you don't want to budge the minutes because you don't think you'll be able to reset it correctly or you don't have an accurate reference point, you can just push the little trigger on the side, it will step the hour up and return the minute hand to its existing position. So if you just want to adjust the hours, you feel like you've really got the minutes dialed in or you just don't have a mother clock to set it to, you can easily just jump the hour and skip adjusting the minutes. We have a retrograde date down at six o'clock and it should be mentioned that the watch retains the underlying quick set mechanism 
of the Girard Perigo 3300 caliber on which it is based. The module with the jump hour and the by retrograde is Gerald Genta manufacture. And then you can see the movement bears all the hallmarks of a Girard Perigo 3300. What they did though was they finished it beautifully and they executed it with a combination of engine turning on bridges, plates, and rotor with what they call a potter gold or old gold finish. So it's got a beautiful sort of a vintage 14 carat like pale yellow gilding on it. The movement here doing business is Gerald Genta 7722. That's the combination of the Girard Perigo and the Genta module. We've got a single mainspring barrel, automatic winding, 46 hour power reserve, four hertz or eight beats per second. It pivots on 26 joules. It is adjusted in a chronometer style, five positions, which is technically impressive. And you can see that the finishing is impressive beyond just the engine turning. You can see the perlage, but the beveling is also quite good. The screw heads are nicely black polished. And if you look, you can see multiple multiple solarizations on the barrel. So all of this uh, redoubtable and quite memorable. This is a timepiece that represents the briefest of co-branding between Bulgari and Gerald Genta. It was a moment in time that passed in the blink of an eye. Genta before, Bulgari after. This was the neither world between them. And these watches being as rare as they are, are highly collectible today. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.